Hey guys, this is a first for me, and I am typically not a horror news channel. At least, not yet. But I'm sure some of you guys may have heard about an online petition being peddled to anyone that will listen from a small YouTube channel, JV211. This petition was created in order to try to take Gun Media, Ilphonic, and or Horror Inc. to court for a class action lawsuit that if won, will force them to deliver the canceled DLC for Friday the 13th, the game. Citing that Gun had raised over $12 million through crowdfunding, and because of that, we are owed the DLC and that Uber Jason and the Grendel map is being withheld from us due to the monetary value that Gunn could put on the character. While I'm here to dispute these claims, and more, this is Bloodletting. First, let's begin with Uber Jason appearing in the game. Now, according to this channel, Uber Jason was completed and appears in a video by another YouTuber called Caliber. In this video, while Uber Jason does indeed appear, I believe the context is greatly lost as to how. After doing some research, I discovered that it actually wasn't really Uber Jason at all but instead a hack where Uber Jason's skin was taken from his appearance in the virtual cabin and pasted over Part 8 Jason, which is evidenced in Calibre's video twice. First, when Uber Jason appears, the Part 8 music comes with him. Oh, sometimes... Jason, get him! Get him! which I think a lot of people would likely dismiss as it being maybe a placeholder until the real music is added. So we can brush that off. But then the second bit of evidence is shown when Uber Jason's mask is taken off and on the ground. It clearly transforms from Uber Jason's mask on his face to part eights on the ground. It was the fact that PC players did this ultimately caused more glitches than the game already had, such as Jason having no hitbox in some games, players teleporting from one part of the map to another, as shown in Calibre's video as well, or just outright crashes. Now, there are also some videos out there with the kill animations as well, but don't forget that Uber Jason did perform one of his kills at the end of the virtual cabin so it's possible that his kills may have been in the game files as well and may have been accessed which would explain how even more glitchy they made the game and why some of them seemingly have no sound when being performed this was rectified by gun by patching it out of the game and warning players about doing it again next is the grindle map now there is also a video that shows exploration of the map and exactly how incomplete it actually is. In some places it looks fantastic and ripped right out of Jason X, but in others it looks very much in the beginning stages of being developed, which I will link Calibre's video and the Grindle map video in the description below. So overall, the channel is wrong about Uber Jason being completed, but what about the monetary gain Gun stands to make by selling Uber Jason? Well, considering that the only Jason that costs any money at all was Savini's during the crowdfunding stage to entice backers and fans of both the franchise and Tom Savini. So this is highly unlikely, since the release of the game, we have already gotten a retro skin for Part 3 Jason complete with music, part 4 Jason with a map, part 5 Roy Burns with a map, plus Fox 
Shelley, and Mitch all free. So the claim that Gunn doesn't want to release Uber Jason with the Grendel map because they stand to make money from it seems very false based on Gunn's actions in the past. Now let's talk about the crowdfunding itself. Now if you look at the Kickstarter stretch goals for Friday the 13th the game, it lists the Jason in Space DLC at $5,400,000. But JV211 claims that Gunn actually raised $12 million on multiple occasions. Which if that were the case, I believe not only do we deserve Uber Jason, but we deserve Uber Roy too. But sadly, that is just simply not true. Through Kickstarter alone, Gunn raised $823,704,000. And then another $422,866 by the backer kits. So by my math, that gives Gunn a total of $1,246,570.20. Which is a fraction of the $12 million claim by JV211 and nowhere near the stretch goal to add Uber Jason in the game. So no, we are not owed Uber Jason at all. He was to be an extra gift to the fans, but the lawsuit kicked in and Gunn was faced with a choice to either finish the dedicated servers to keep the game alive or finish DLC that fans likely would have gotten bored with after a couple of weeks, in which I believe Gun Media made the right call. Now another question was, why didn't Gun just release what they had and fix it later? Well they could have, but that comes with some grave consequences to the game. And if we look at it from a what if scenario, if they released Uber Jason and decided to fix him later, how many players would exploit the glitches that came with that? Everyone. Even if you locked it, players on PC would still find a way to use him and render the game almost unplayable on that platform, since all of the resources would go to patching the use of Uber Jason out of the game until he's ready, which could take months and then fixing Uber Jason afterwards, while console players would complain that PC players are once again favored for getting access to content before them, which has been evidenced in the past, but during that time, an already shrinking player base on PC would likely be rendered to almost non-existent and almost impossible to rekindle. So once again, as much as I would have loved Uber Jason and Grindel in the game, I believe Gun Media made the right call. Next, will the petition help? My answer, no. I think Sleeve the Biker on his channel outlined exactly why this is the case. So if you guys want, you can slide over to his video regarding the same issue because I think he laid out the details for that beautifully. The link for that will be below as well. And finally, why do I think this will hurt not only the game, but other small developers that may be tempted to use licensed properties for their games in the future? The overall experience for Gun has been met with a lot of toxicity, with threats of being sued, and now this petition, I'd be surprised if they ever touch a licensed franchise again and a lot of other small devs may see everything that happened and ultimately decide against it as well, meaning we may never get another gem like Friday the 13th the game again. That wouldn't be backed by financial sources outside of crowdfunding of course, which is a shame and I really hope that I'm wrong about. But that's just it guys. I hope I was informative on the whole situation and by no means am I trying to dissuade you from signing the petition. Do so at your own will, but do it with the correct knowledge going in, or do your own research on it before choosing to sign. With that being said, 
please leave a comment below about the situation. Do you agree with the petition? Are you signing the petition? Or do you think the devs have given us enough already? And also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, as well as hitting the notification bell to be alerted whenever a new video is uploaded, especially if I go live. And as always, I am JG Dark, and thanks for watching.